Now we're going to look at the functions within SmartWay. We go to our menu, click on SmartWay, and we have the, mon the options that we can manipulate within SmartWay. The first one being target weights. So we have up to 10 target weights that we can set in the monitor for different work that we might be doing on our job site. Different customers, different aggregate materials, different targets for different size trucks and items like that. We go in here, you click on the one that you want, you use the keypad on the SSM in order to set that, the check mark, and now you've set your target one to 10 tons. We go to our menu, we hit the arrow key over to get to SmartWay, and you can see that when we're at weight number one, it is set to 10 tons like we put for that target in the monitor. Back into SmartWay, we have zero bucket load. This is a procedure that you can go to to zero out the weight on the bucket. This will be used for changing attachments or if you have a, fault, a reading within your bucket and you need to make a change on the go to get it to zero, you can come in here and do this very quick procedure to do that. Weight capture point. This is another procedure that you go through to pick the percentage where you want the weight to be captured when you're using your payload measurement. Loading mode. So this is where we can have a no target weight or just a live reading all the time so we know what's in our bucket. Or we can display our target weight if we have a target that we're looking for to load trucks on or turn it off. Our calibrations menu, this takes us to the two calibrations associated with SmartWay friction calibration which is the first calibration you'll do before any work is done with SmartWay and your scale offset which can be adjusted as needed for different items across your job site. Units this is where we can change our units to the type of measurement that you want to look at right now we have it set on tons. The last thing that we have in here is also our auto capture so we can have our auto capture enabled or disabled depending on how you would like to do it. One other thing within our SmartWay system is our multi-function buttons on the joysticks. So we need to go to our machine setup, operator interface cab settings, either our multi-function button one or two to be able to see if we want to change anything to input. I right now have it set on multi-function button 2 which is the button on the front of the joystick and for smart way related I can put my add truck, increment count, add bucket or weight capture on that button within the joystick.